As soon as I heard Terrakion got bumped down to the same tier as notable threats such as Blossom, Quillfish, Hisui, and, uh, this fucking thing, I knew I had to rescue our boy. My favorite part about this new thing where they add 100 Pokemon to the game every month is how I have to relearn the entire meta, all while still needing to check Smogon for the speed stats of, like, anything that came out in the last five years. This means I've been able to perform my yearly ritual of making a team with one lead and five of the best sweepers in the game, like, four times this past year. Azelf is my choice of lead because it maximizes the time that I get to have something that isn't an Azelf in front of me because of this button. Uh, Boulder and Deoxys are two Pokemon that probably shouldn't be down here, but they both fill the role of big fast guy, with Darkrai not far behind at 125 speed. Next up's our boy. Uh, I'm using an SD set with Quick Attack. Okay, laugh at me, I get it. It doesn't get, like, Mach Punch, okay? But the utility of having a move like this, it can either extend sweeps that you're on, or it can save you, uh, especially given that it's on a team that doesn't really have a dedicated Revenger. Uh, the thing that's cool about this is it's, it is stronger than Iron Boulder. It has stronger stabs, or at least close combat stronger. Um, and there really aren't a ton of things that can switch in. Like Skarmory, for instance, if it's not like max max, it does just drop to a close combat after rocks. But there's very little that can switch into this. And generally speaking, the things that are faster and that do want to switch in, if they're weakened and it's late game, they're not going to be able to take a plus two quick attack. Uh, by the way, we're Terra Normal, so I get stab on it. I I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Scale Shot Kiram wishes it was Kiram Black so bad. Losing out on Mold Breaker and like 40 base attack is a pretty big deal, uh, but it still gets more setup opportunities than something like Haxorus would, which is probably the next closest thing to Kiram Black, so there's a bit of a give and take. Let's see what Terrakion can do in OU. Okay. I, dude, I, I don't, I have to relearn the meta, like, every two fucking weeks, because they they keep giving new Pokemon, new Did you guys know Meowskareta now gets triple Axel? I didn't, but now I know. Dude, it's a fucking full-time job. Can you just release a game every year? <laughs> Even that's too much, by the way. But, like, instead of that, it's like, okay, I just learned Scarlet and Violet. Oh, now they release, like, 70 more Pokemon. 20 of them are OU, couple things gonna get banned, couple things unbanned, look out for fucking Darkrai, the guy that's been in Ubers for 15 years now. Uh, so, that aside, I'm gonna go for Explosion, and he is in fact Choice Banded, which means I can go into, uh, one of my dudes. Which of those dudes should it be? I could go... Potentially Kiram. Kiram doesn't do too poorly against him. At all. That actually is a great Pokemon against his team. Uh, ooh, other than the, the Primarina is actually a bit of a pain. Um, I don't hate Terrakir. I kind of get nice. Uh, you might go Golden Go. I, I might want to just get, like, damage. I'll SD. I'll SD, <clears throat> I'll SD first. Just like on the Golden Go switch, maybe he goes something else like Primarina and I can knock it out with Stone Edge next turn. Um, but yes, this is an easy, this should be an easy uh, KO on the Primarina. Yeah, okay. And if he wants to go back to Boom because he thinks Grassy Glide, <laughs> he is in for a rude awakening. I told you it was good. Who doubted? Who doubted? I think now's the time he's like, okay, now I have to go to, go to Golden Go. Um and make it rain. He's not making it rain. He refuses to make it rain. I think this is probably more likely... So it is boots. What are you gonna do? You just... Yeah. So he's intimidating me so that he can go, to, go into Golden Go. Hopefully this Stone Edge does to it. KO it will. That <laughs> definitely do it. KOs it from there. <laughs> just ran through this guy's team with Tarak. Uh, are you Scarf Drill? Yeah, I... No, <laughs> he wants to get the defense drop so he can uh, Thunderclap. I think. You know I'm just switching out, right? I don't need to, though. I want to because, like... It's Terrakion, and he just did that to this guy's team. But, like, I shouldn't. 
I'm, uh, yeah, whatever. I'll, sorry, Terrakion, you did a great job. You killed the entire team. Everyone's very proud of you. Um, now what do I do? Yeah, what do I do about this, actually? It's a great question. Uh, if I go to this, he's not gonna, is he gonna think I'm offensive? Is he just gonna Thunderclap? I don't know. I want a Psycho Boost. We'll see what he does. Decent damage. Definitely enough to the point where Kiram can... Okay. <laughs> E-speed. Um, I was going to say, either way, that was going to be in range of Kiram. Kiram wouldn't have died to Thunderclap, obviously, because I resist it, and I could have just won the game from there. That's probably, like, the least threatening thing to me, ending his set. But, like, yeah, I don't care about that. I could... <laughs> <laughs> I could skill swap for no reason. I'm not going to do that. That would have been really funny, though. And I would have been able to eat the Ivy Cudgel. Okay, he just lets me take it for no reason at all. Kiram is looking good this game. Like, <laughs> like unbelievably good. Depending on what his Scarfer is, I really only need to get one speed boost. If his Scarfer's Landorus, I need, only need the one. If it's Latia, Latios, or Darkrai, I need a couple. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Deoxys isn't too bad here. If he goes Clef. If you went Clef, it would have told me if he was Magic Guard um, or unaware. and Or if he was unaware, he would have had to be Boots. But I'm just going to Psycho Boost. And I cannot believe that that didn't kill. And now there's rocks up on my side. So that's... Um, awful. A Thunderbolt to take it out. Uh, I'm gonna hope he goes to Dark right here. Just like potentially could. I, it's something he could do. He did do it. Now I get to see if you're scarfed by superpowering. What do you got, bro? You scarf right? You are scarf right. You didn't know that I knew that you knew. <laughs> He left. <laughs> Just put the good Pokemon on your team. It works sometimes. Okay, straight into Azel. Um, the annoying part is the the Hatterene. Do I have to like read it? I think I have to read it, right? He leads with it. I don't have to read it. I don't have to read it if he leads with it. If he switched, if he led with something else, I would have to skill swap blindly on it. But since he just led with it, I'll click it now. Nuzzle, please don't get paralyzed like 17 times. Thank you. That's all I need. Now, I could taunt him, but I'm just going to boom, because it should do enough damage that I can revenge kill him. Question is with what? Because I could go... I might just go to Rack, to be honest. Maybe a nice Sludge Bomb with Dark Rack could be nice. Yeah, I'll do that. I, I don't hate that. I don't hate that. That should kill. It forces him into Tusk. Or Keld. I'm fine with him taking this. Right? Because, like... Maybe I'll get a little poison. A little damage. Is that AV? That's gotta be AV, Keldeo. That did nothing! <laughs> Boulder time? Boulder time? The boulder! I think so. And... I suppose all Zen. He doesn't have a switch into Zen at all. His only psychic resist is Hatterene. Um, he could have gone into his Ditto, but it would have been a little... He might have... It's a bit of a pre-jack move, if you ask me. Uh... I can't Terra, can I? Terra, can I sounded a whole lot like Terra Kion. Not even how you say the Pokemon's name. But still kind of funny. Um, Zen moment. Get some damage on him. <gasps> oh, I lived! <laughs> Zen is base 80. Oh, dude, you're gone. See ya. Oh, he knew I was doing it. He knew it. Oh, but he's got Helmet. Could I go Kiram and D... I can't DD, because he's got the Ditto. God, the Ditto's so annoying. Uh, Deoxys here. 
Let's his um, Volk set up a little bit, but like, but like, what could I really do? I'm gonna go hard to rack, and the question of the day is, uh, do I like Terra Normal? He's got Terra Ground, right? Or he's like Giga Draining, or he's doing something like that. Watch this, play of the day. Look at me. Look at Dink. Close combating a bug type. That fucking healed him. The, the reward is not there. Okay, here's what I have to do. He's gonna hit me now, right? How am I gonna win with Kiram? I don't think I will. Uh, so he's gonna... He stone-edged. You're gonna miss. I can't believe you did that. You're not hitting three in a row, right? Oh, wait. No, no, no. Good, good. Good for me, right? Because I can go Deoxys. Kill the Serp. He comes back in. He traces Deoxys. Deoxys can't touch Kira. Is that the game? I think that's our game plan here. Ow! That hurts. But, nah, Serp doesn't beat... Um, here. Right. Should I DD first? No, you can't, Terra. He already Terra'd. Later. <laughs> Alright, another Hattering moment. So what I do... <laughs> so, the move, right, is if they lead the Hattering, you skill swap. If they lead the Deoxys, you just explode. And then they're going to taunt. And then no one gets rocks. Alright? If I can't have it, no one can. So that's the plan. I can't tell you if it's going to work. It did work. <laughs> and he's not Sash. What was your held item, bro? Uh, Does Boulder win? Yeah, Boulder actually just wins the game. I've never seen anyone as ill-prepared for this Pokemon <laughs> other than me, than this guy. So, alright, but step one of the plan is go to my Deoxys, which looks like I would be setting up a lot of hazards right now. I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> it's not part of the agenda. Um, and this actually isn't that good against this team anyway because of uh, this guy, the Latias, and the King Gambit, but like, maybe I could have snuck a superpower in and he didn't know, you know, but. Any damage on this is good to get it in range of Boulder though. So I will happily take it. That's, all, uh, that's fine, I only still outspeed like 70% of the fucking game. Alright, he's at plus one. It might be time to start uh, getting speedy on him. Extremely speedy. He's gonna drain and kiss and get all of his health. Oh my god. He's gonna get almost all of his health back. Oh, I think T-Bolt does more anyway. Now oh, he's getting even more calm on me. Now I'm at A-speed again. So what can I do? How do I not lose horribly to Hatterene right now? Uh, is he Terra Steel? Do I go Kyurem? Kyurem also messes him up. I might have to go Kiram, I think. I think that is the plan. Yeah. And then the rest of the bros, the three bros in the back might have to uh, clean it up for me. Oh my gosh, it doesn't kill. Oh my gosh. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I got two four hits. Oh no, this is... This is worse than the situation I was in a second ago. I have to Terra Normal, don't I? So I don't just actually straight up die to it? Yeah, I do. Because that's going to do it. Okay, hopefully this doesn't put him in range after he... Ah! He's just right where we started! Okay, at least... I think that means... Boulder, no, Boulder doesn't kill from there. Brachion's way stronger. 
Okay, this is just destroying my team. But maybe Boulder. Oh my god, that did a lot. I don't. It's not impossible. It's definitely not impossible. If you went into this, it's because it's either Scarfed or it is. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I used my Terra. Oh, now I can't beat the King Gambit. Unless I do, like, stuff. That doesn't die. I have to beat the. I have to do the Sucker Punch thing again. I have to do the Sucker Punch thing. Three. Four. I'm doing it now. No, you asshole! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm doing the thing. Doing the Azel thing. Taunt me. No, he screams! <laughs> At least you only got one up. <laughs> uh, that is good news, I guess. Especially because the boulder kind of gives it to him. The last time I said that, I got Hatterene on, but... Um, God, dude, who knew Hatterene, like, could just take stuff like that? There's, like, a joke to be made with Havel the Rock and Hatterene the Rock. Sorry, Dark Souls thing. If you, li if you like that one, you gotta give me a, a thumb up. Give me a YouTube comment for that one, Dark Souls fans. Uh, where are we going? Deoxys doesn't do so bad. Uh, the light screen's kind of annoying. I don't want to go into it yet. A Dragon's fine. If it's not scarfed this guy, then Terrakion is fine. And I don't think... Okay, no, that's a lie. This definitely kills me. Um... <laughs> so, I <don't... laughs> so I don't know what to do. I could Terra. I'm gonna Terra. I'm doing it. No, I don't want to, do I? No, no, I don't want to. I do not want to because I want to keep it for Boulder. I'm just going to close combat. That's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do, dude me close combat i'm clicking the i'm clicking the super effective button all right this is uh turning into a disaster that did good damage that's actually enough i'm surprised your fairy um a quick attack plus e speed will kill so that's cool too i could also go to bolds boldy woldy i will be faster than this um right away it might be i might be pre-jacking it by going into boulder but I might want to just wait and go to the Oxus. I don't know if I'm ready for a boulder sweep. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm ready. I think I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. He uses Terra. That's it, dude. Later. And I don't super need the speed, I don't think. Goes to King Gambit. Yeah, dude. I'm doing this. Can't. 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 Can't do it. If you were thinking about doing it, I'm letting you know now you can't do it. Uh, switching out and back in might not be the worst idea. I'm just a little bit afraid of... Hmm. The reason to switch out would be because I can't kill this from full. But then I can come in with Curum, right? Potentially? Depending on what he is. Hmm. Like, if it's Scarfed Enamorous, which it likely is, then I can't come back in anyway. Like, I can't. Do I just want damage? So, the reason to switch out would be to preserve this for the Volk. How do I not lose to Volcarona right now? Because this doesn't kill. I need plus one first. Honestly, I should have SD'd on the King Gambit. Like, that would have been the right thing to do, you know? I probably could have Terra'd SD'd regardless of what he wanted to do. Um, and then this wouldn't be a problem right now. But it is a problem. Here we are. Because I lose, if I give that a chance to set up, I have to be in with like a plus one Kyurem or something like that, you know? Um, I think what I have to do is this. I have to hit the gouging fire with that. And he got Protosynth, so he's booster energy also. 
Do I go cure him? And scale shot. Yeah, I do. I do do that. And then if he goes into Volk, I can Dragon Dance again. If he goes to Volcarona, I Dragon Dance again to be able to hit it with a plus one. It goes to Enamorous because it's Scarfed. I live. I live Scarf move last, don't I? I'm Kiram. This thing's a beast. Uh, what do I have? Where's my, where's my, where are my stats? I have four in defense. The chance that it kills me with Moonblast is, is a 37% chance to kill me. Oh, I have 10 seconds. I lived. I did the thing. I did the right thing. I did the right thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been thinking that much. I didn't know I was using up that much time. That was a close one, dude. All right. Good game. <laughs> good game. Dude, I was not looking at the timer. That was terrifying. I'm glad I got, like, the minimum roll. Well, it does 89. Okay, so I got a low roll, but relatively speaking, it was probably right in the middle, but low enough that I could live is what I'm trying to say. And he can't set up. Even if he did live, right? Like, if he was mega physically defensive, he can't set up because at that point I'd be at, you know, plus, I don't know, 5,000 speed. So, I, I think that was a pretty good demonstration of what Terrakion can do. Terrakion's kind of super forgotten about, obviously, because of Iron Boulder. Um, but Terrakion's still the man. Um, I think he's a ton of usage in OU, especially as a sword stance sweeper. Bandit has a lot of... Uh, you just come in and, and hit the button, and that's really good. So, I think he has a lot of utility in OU. Super slept on Pokemon. So, if you enjoyed, make sure you give me a thumb up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.